Oh boy, howdy, the hate train for Anthem has pulled into the station, pulled out of the station, blew its little steam whistle, <laughs> and it's charging towards the cliff of, of, of which people leap to conclusions. That was a clumsy metaphor, but man, over the last 18 hours or so, there's been a bunch of channels passing verdict on Anthem based on early access without the day one patch, but we'll roll back to that in a second. Those those people who, for some reason, decided to pay EA extra for the privilege of playing a game that wasn't quite in day one condition yet, and we knew about that because they were very, very clear that there was a day one patch coming on the 22nd where the normal people who spent the normal amount of money on a video game get to play and weren't sucked into this FOMO cyclone of the fear of missing out and having to get in first, and especially YouTubers, I, I need to make content. If I'm not the first to make content, there's no point in making content because people only watch what's first. It never worked. It's just, and instead of making good content and thinking about it and spending time with it, I'm just going to be first. That kind of stuff. And we do have to be careful about this too. Now, I don't have a horse in this race as far as content goes, because as the regulars around here know, this is a variety channel more, unless I talk about anything that takes my personal passion. Point is, my channel doesn't revolve around making content for this specific game or this specific genre of game. A lot of channels out there making content about this do just focus in on looter shooters or shooters in general or uh, massively multiplayer type games and, and that kind of stuff, which is where Anthem falls, PvE, multiplayer, uh, Destiny-like looter shooter. So for those channels that do have a horse in the race, there is a reason for them to be extra forgiving or extra aggressive about it because only those two extremes are going to get them the views they need to fill their belly and pay their rent. That's a thing. It just happens because people don't like middle of the road opinions. People like extreme opinions because then they can go, yeah, I believe in that too, rah! Or they can go, rah, you're an idiot, blah. The notes I took uh, of several of these videos of, of these creators I've been watching in the lead up to launch of Anthem because, again, they're specialists. They know a lot about these games, uh, a lot about the underpinning, a lot of, uh, and they've played games similar to it uh, much more than I have. So they have a better sort of uh, uh, sense of relativity between say Destiny, which is get compared to most, and where Anthem sits. I tried to play Destiny and Destiny 2. Didn't quite stick with me. I've talked to that before, mainly because I felt like they I enjoyed the shooting. It mechanically felt good. It looked good, but it was soulless. It was empty. It was repetitive. It was boring very, very quickly. So I walked away from them. And the problem is this. A lot of what was said about Destiny, and Destiny 2 for that matter, uh, in their first weeks and months is exactly what they're saying about this game. Let me read you my notes. The repeated phrases. And that's another thing you have to be worried about. A lot of people are jumping on the bandwagon. They see someone else make a bit of content that's hating on it. And they go, oh, that's getting a lot of attention. I should make a similar video about that. So I get a lot of attention to jump on this bandwagon. There are a lot of YouTubers out there with no sense of personal dignity that just keep jumping on bandwagons like that. We all know it. We all see it. Anyway. That's the pro These repeated phrases, I feel like they're just snowballing off one another. Ban some of it's honest opinion, some of it's bandwagon jumping, but there is a lot of familiar phrases that I keep hearing over and over and again, and I just can't help but feel like it's it's just people copycatting and go, oh, that, that sounds like a good opinion, I'll have that opinion too, and just parrot it across to my audience to get a reaction out of them. Uh, so of these people who paid for early access of an unfinished game without the day one patch, they complain it feels soulless, empty, repetitive, buggy. The progression system is annoying. It is boring. Uh, they do all seem to agree that the game looks beautiful. It feels nice. The flying mechanics feel great. And, you know, it, it generally feels enjoyable. The combat is satisfying in a little short burst, but... There is not enough variety either in the weapon types or the uh, uh, things you've got to shoot at and things like that. And the quests are all samey. It's like uh, the thing I keep hearing, the phrase I keep hearing is people, oh, it's all the quests are go here, shoot this, go here, collect this. And it's that repeated phrasing that worries me about this, this bandwagon jumping, because there are better ways to, to phrase that. I mean, it may be true, and I suspect it is true, because in the demos and such, that, that was quite evident in itself. We were hoping that the full game would have more variety and the demo was just a small slice of that, but it is seeming like the people who have burned through the, the you know main story and everything have all the same complaints, is all the quests feel very samey, very repetitive, very soulless, very empty. 
Um, they complain that the AI is dumb. They're just going to stand there and shoot at you and things like that. And, and uh, complain about the bad menus. And everyone seems to be complaining about in free play mode, if you're away from the other three randos you're with, if you die and they're not needy to revive you, there's no way to get out of that. You can't escape out and, and quit the free play. Uh, you just got to wait there until someone notices you're downed and come all the way over from where they are and revive you. Or you just have to alt F4 the game to just shut it down and start it up again. That's a bit dumb. That happened to me in the demo. I thought it was a glitch. Not a glitch. Well, it might be a glitch, but it's a thing that's in the game. They're never fixed, at least. Um, and then you've got the defensive types who are going, well, as I've mentioned a few times, it's not final. There's no, it doesn't have the day one patch, and there's a huge day one patch list of, of, of change notes and things like that. Huge day one patch coming through that apparently, hopefully, fixes a lot of stuff people have been complaining about, but... People want to rush in and get that, you know, day one content ready. Got to be first, got to be first, got to be first. And sort of digging through all this and throwing away the chunks that are obviously just fanboy garbage or people just trying to get a reaction out of their audience one way or another. There is that, that single thread going down the middle that reminds me very, very much of, uh, you know, my weeks with Destiny and about a week and a half from Destiny 2 before I decided that was just more of the same empty bullshit. And in both cases, people say, oh, Destiny 2 is a lot better now after so-and-so content patch. It got a lot better. And, and this expansion, man, it got a lot better. Same thing happened with Division. When that first launched, utter disastrous launch. Uh, and people are thinking about that again with Division 2. I have played Division 2. It seems like it's learned a lot from its predecessor. Um, but that kind of cover shooter mechanic isn't really where I want to be. So I'm, I, I, I'm more attracted to what Anthem you know, the sci-fi Iron Man crap versus militaristic cover shooter kind of stuff, even though it seems like it's on a much better starting foot as far as looter shooter games go. But that's the thing. With this kind of game, if you don't get in on day one, wade through this really difficult beginning period where you're just waiting for the game to get good, waiting for the game to get... And I kept hearing this about Destiny 2 when I started playing, because I abandoned that pretty quickly, and everyone was like, oh, just stick with it. It'll get better. I'll, I'll patch this, and there's more content coming here. And I don't want to play this game. I don't want to play, you know, 60, 70, 150, 200 hours of this game before it gets good. And I've said the same thing about anime series, for example. Uh, I was talking to someone about Naruto once. So I, I watched a few episodes, and I was like, crap! And they go, oh, well, it gets really good about uh, episode 173. I'm not watching 200 hours of anime until it gets good. And I don't want to play 200 hours of game before it gets good. And I'm really worried that Anthem is going to be that. I want to give it a fair go. I gave Fallout 76 a fairer go than most people. The same thing happened with that launch. People just jumped on it from all angles saying, oh, this is broken, this is broken, this is broken. I stuck with it. I went, okay, well, they're patching things. The patches are coming up, you know, regularly. They seem to be listening to the community. And you hear that a lot said about the... Uh, uh, Anthem developers were, oh, they're listening, they're listening, they're listening, they're patching this, patching this. Well, Fallout 76 did the same thing too, but it never quite got there, did it? In fact, it's gotten worse uh, from what I hear about the guy. I stopped. I finally stopped playing it. I, I tried to stick with it as long as possible, waiting for it to get good, waiting for it to get good, waiting for it to get good, but it never got good. And now it's worse because they broke their promise about not putting in paid DLC uh, 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 content stuff that is, is pay to win, basically. They broke that promise. Uh, by putting in stuff that does give you a legitimate in-game advantage for something you pay for. And just F you Bethesda for that. And I'm terrified the same thing's going to happen to Anthem because EA is sitting behind the scenes going, we need all the money, we need all the money. And even though Anthem's developers are saying, why is there always a truck when I'm trying to record? If the, sorry about the beeping. Anthem's developer, Bioware, are always saying, oh, no, 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 we're going to do, we're going to do, it's only cosmetic, it's only cosmetic, it's only cosmetic. Well, Bethesda said the same thing. You can't trust these people, especially not when they've got EA breathing down their neck. Because you know at every meeting or, or, or investor discussion or anything like that, it's always going to be, how can we make more money from this? How can we make more money from this? How can we, oh, we can just put in some, some really cool, powerful guns for a few gajillion coins or something. Oh, but you can earn it in game. No, but it is kind of beyond the point of return for me. I've, I've pre-ordered. I canceled my pre-order after the VIP demo was such a cost of, and I re-engaged my pre-order after the open 
VIP demo went a lot more smoothly. And well, that shows a good amount of progress. So I'll, I'll put down my money again. And tomorrow, the regular launch day comes. In fact, this time tomorrow, uh, I'll be I'll be streaming the game. I plan to stream it probably all weekend long, unless of course I get horribly, terribly bored with it. But the plan is to burn through the core storyline over three days of the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, live on stream. Uh, probably a lot off stream as well because just settling into that that level grind and things like that. Uh, and, and sort of get to the end game where the real uh, uh, loot grind kind of begins, where you start getting the really cool weapons for the higher tier difficulty levels, the Grandmaster 1, 2, 3 difficulty levels, where you sort of just settle into that, that end game grind for better and better and better loot and the RNG. That's the other thing people complained about. There's no way to build a character. You can't plan to build a melee character or, you know, a, a tanky character or anything. You just, it's every, every piece of loot you get that allows you to do cool things like absorb more damage or have better shields or be faster on the reload or refresh of your abilities, things like that. That's all RNG. So you can't really grind with a plan. You can't really go, well, I want to take my, I want to build a character that does this and I'll build a second character for doing this when I'm working in a team. And you can't, it's, it's all RNG and that's kind of frustrating, but it is a looter shooter game, so it's kind of expected and how they're going to balance that and fix it up so it doesn't feel completely frustrating when all I want from life is is the, the best shotgun the game has to offer uh, in, in the in the super duper ultra rarity with all the splashy ability markings on it and things. I just, what am I going to do? Just play the game forever until I get it? Or are they going to head to the store? Or, I don't know. I'm still really enthusiastic about Anthem. I still want to like the game. Everything about it on the surface looks like it should be fun. This is a type of game that appeals to me, as we keep saying. It's basically Destiny, except you're Iron Man. And there's nothing about that idea I don't like, except for the fact it's Destiny. Not the basic game, but the way the content flows. There's not enough variety, I'm told. It gets boring quickly, I'm told. Uh, uh, the progression system, you slap a wall halfway through, and that's very annoying, I'm told. I guess we'll find out over the next few days. But I'm willing to give it a fair go, as I was with Fallout 76. Fallout 76 eventually just let me down, and hit, I hit a wall of frustration and just went, okay, okay, I'm done. I'm done. I gave you a fairer go than most, but I'm done. And so we'll find out whether I stick with Anthem. And how far away the wait till it gets better moment is. How about you? How are you feeling after all this community feedback has started pouring out over the last 18 hours as everyone sort of rides that snowball towards launch day? That's why it's coming out now, by the way. They've only played it for a few days in a pre-release form, basically. Early access without the day one patch. But because launch is in, you know, well, 24 hours or 48 hours from when they started putting out their content, that's, that's why it's coming up now because they want to get ready for launch day, because there's going to be a lot of people looking at it at launch day and searching YouTube for launch day. They might even find this video and be baffled by it. This idiot rambling Australian just just pouring off his train of thought about this game. But yeah, like, subscribe, comment, all that kind of stuff. Tell me how you're feeling about Anthem. Has your enthusiasm been watered down? Are you really, really worried about it? Are you convinced... All of these negative Nancys are just riding the hate train because that gets views. Uh, I don't know. It feels like history repeating to me. It feels a lot like Destiny and it feels a lot like Fallout 76 in different ways, but just the way that the community in general are piling on in certain ways and parroting each other in certain ways, just mirroring each other. Uh, and you're never quite sure whether it's a genuine opinion or they've absorbed it via osmosis from people they think are influential or they genuinely feel that way and just don't have the perspicacity to express themselves in a unique manner. Uh, I don't know. I just, I don't know. Thanks for watching. I'm Blunty. Catch you next time.